Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And welcome back to another Chicago Lane Changes episode. You guys, it is 5.36 a.m. And we got the beautiful G37. Uh, as you guys may know, it is tuned. It is finally freaking tuned. And uh, today I'm just taking you guys on a really nice drive at 5 a.m. I know I'm fucking crazy. And I don't know, man. We're, we're going to do this. And this is actually on the GoPro Hero 8. I did actually order the brand new Hero 9. That doesn't come in until next week. Um, so I just wanted to try out the GoPro. And we might switch over the content to go more GoPro footage than the DSLR. DSLRs will probably be just for special type of things. But I'm really definitely debating on whether we should switch over to the GoPros. Uh, and the Hero 9 is going to be absolutely nuts. Oh, look at that beautiful. And we actually have the full racing uh, racing setup. I don't know if you guys seen that in the last video. Um, these are actually done. They have the Taneka uh, four point harness and the Cypher racing seats. As you guys can see, they are so comfortable with the Sparco harness bar. And I am so excited to drive this thing. So uh, you guys, let's, uh, let's go. Let me get you guys a cold start. Look at everything about this car. Oh my god, this car is a freaking beast. You guys, I was actually so excited to drive it, actually. I don't know why, just today, vlogging. Uh, it's beautiful outside. Five in the morning. Car sounds so good and idle. Man, I really like the GoPro. Well, I swear, man. Let's keep vlogging on this shit, for real, bro. The Hero 9 is going to even be like 20 times better than the Hero 8. So, uh, let's get in. Let's put on the harness and let's take this thing on a drive. So I don't know if you guys can see well, but we do have the harness. We have the Taneka right here, Taneka right there. This thing looks so freaking cool. Uh, we actually have my police radar, so we should be Gucci for today. I know it is kind of dark, but it should get a little bit lighter outside. But uh, let's wait for it to get into operating temperature. I like when the car is kind of warm, so I can, you know, actually get on this thing. So uh, yeah, we'll wait, reverse it out, and we're gonna hit the road. All right, guys, so we are driving now. Uh, as you guys see, so beautiful outside today. Uh, we're actually heading, <laughs> we're actually going the wrong direction to where the actual beautiful light is, but uh, we'll actually be going on a very long road so I can uh, really get into depth with you guys with this tune. But uh, I know you guys want to pull. Top radar is not going up. It holds, it holds. Holy. <laughs> you guys can hear the burp. Those burbles are so freaking satisfying, dude. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. To somebody who actually owns a now two G37, uh, it's like worth the money. It really is. I mean, you're spending over maybe three grand in total with the full bolt-ons and uh, obviously the tune. But hear me out. But it is actually it is actually really worth it. Um, exhaust, though, uh, I will actually have to replace my. So right now I don't have a resin. I kind of have a resonator. Well, it's a non-resonated pipe that actually goes over the motor dyne resonator. So I did get rid of the motor dyne resonator. That's what makes Catalyst car sound so loud. Uh, so I did order actually a new, brand new motor dyne resonator. Uh, so my car should have that more of a deeper growl to that VQ engine instead of that like high raspiness. Uh, man, I just, it is worth the money, you know, for real guys. But to be completely honest with you guys, it is worth the money. It really is. Man, I just can't get over how beautiful it is outside. You guys want to launch? No cop. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Those burbles will never get old, dude. Holy crap. This thing hooks really hard. And you know what's funny? I wasn't even dogging it all the way just in case the cop came out of nowhere. That was, oh my God, that's freaking nuts, dude. I will, uh, my head strap is unfortunately not with me. I don't have my head strap, but I promise in later videos, I'll have a head strap, so uh, you guys can see my full hand movement. I'll actually uh, really go in depth with this freaking car and you know, do crazy driving. But man, it is so beautiful today in Illinois, you guys. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support. It honestly really does mean a lot, you know, for 
real, huh? some real shit. Thank you guys so much, man. We've been growing and growing and growing. I'm just really thankful, for real. And you know, this build wouldn't have been possible for more for you guys and the support you guys showed. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Forever blessed for you guys, for real. You just have to give the car a little bit of gas. So we'll get the car up to 4,000 RPMs. Now give the car the lightest gas. And then it's gonna start burbling. So, uh, so I mean, crazy stuff like that. Uh, it would, I think, when he does it on the, I think, believe uh, between fourth and third gear, uh, the car will hold that RPM, so it'll burble itself, so you don't have to do any of the work. So, um, hopefully, we get on this straight away, and we can just ham this fucking car. So we kind of are on the straightaway, fourth gear, drive it down to third. You see where it holds that up a bit? Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! Those burbles, dude! Holy crap! Nothing better than hearing those, man. Let's get a little bit of fourth gear pull. Alright, we'll get it up to 4,000 and just give it some gas. Uh, now. Holy shit! This thing pulls, dude! Holy shit! <laughs> this tune! I promise you this tune is worth every single penny. It might seem a little bit steep, but I promise you it's worth every single penny, dude. Like, holy crap. Let's try fifth gear. So fifth gear, we're around 3,000 RPMs, which is, which is a little bit low, so let's just give it up. All right, let's give it now. I mean, it is pulling a little bit, holy shit. <laughs> Crap, it is pulling, it is pulling though. Man, this was worth waking up at 6 a.m. for you little pieces of shit uh, watching this video. Hey, you guys, it would really mean a lot if you guys can comment down below. Should we stick with the GoPro? Uh, if not, we can switch back to the M50. Um, I'll still obviously use the GoPro here and there for like exhaust or you know something else, but if you guys don't like the GoPro, please tell me now uh, and comment down below. That would please, please, pretty please. Holy shit. It does actually make a difference after I took the seats out actually um, I did take the seats out after I got the tune so I did take the seats out before I got the tune and honestly you could definitely tell a difference cuz that's sh ha the OEM seats were very heavy these are very very light in all seriousness from what I've experienced is this worth the money okay this is how I'm basically gonna explain it the, uh, High flow cats, cat back exhaust, more axle back, whatever it is. You get the still in uh, long tube intakes, you get the freaking Z1 intakes, admin intakes, whatever it is. Um, it's, you're not gonna feel any gains. Um, you might feel a little bit of pulling with the intakes. You're, nothing's gonna happen. Uh, you gotta wait, you gotta get that tune. Uh, now, this is what I'm gonna say. You did all that, you have to tune. Like there's, there's no like, oh hey, you know, maybe I, if I don't tune, these will actually, you know, make a difference. They will, they might make a little difference. Not that much of a difference. After you tune, uh, everything will probably, um, everything will probably, you know, fall in place. And you'll be doing the max amount of horsepower you will. With, you'll do the max amount of horsepower that you can with those bolt-ons, which is actually really good. So I think it comes down to, if you're just going for looks, yeah, this is this is definitely not the thing for you. Hell, you shouldn't even be thinking about a tune. But if you do want, I would say, if you want something, if you want speed, you want something, you know, something crazy, 100% do the tune. Uh, that's just me though. That's just what I think. Uh, but yeah. You guys saw the GoPro did die on me. Unfortunately, that's GoPro for you. But that is all for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash that like button, smash subscribe button. If you're on the channel, hit that little bell notification so you'll be notified. Be a part of CLC Nation. One more surprise before uh, we end it here. Leave you guys a little rev with the burbles. You already know. All right, so. You are welcome. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.